Welcome back guys. I uh, This morning I'd like to go over something that I came across by accident actually. I uh, noticed that uh, I was trying to download some distros and uh, of course as usual most of them are, are, are coming from uh, SourceForge. So I noticed my download speed was uh, erratic lately for some reason. Uh, my my uh, internet speed at the house is usually pretty pretty fast and so I, I thought it was being uh, slowed down by the the server um, wherever the file itself was being held and it was coming from SourceForge so I searched online to get a little more information to find out if anybody else was having any issues with SourceForge and Lo and behold, I came across a lot of negative information on SourceForge. Now, the website, I'm, I'm sure you guys see it all the time. Uh, distros, packages, it even, the name even pops up in my terminal when I'm, when I'm installing a package. Some of the uh, some there are some references to SourceForge so I assume it's pulling files from SourceForge and so when I started reading some of this information I got a little bit concerned I wanted to make you guys aware of it and and ask you guys what you think what what have you heard it would seem to me that since the open source community relies on SourceForge uh, for a lot of the uh, file serving um, that uh, what you know what would happen if SourceForge were not around and it would seem to me that the open source community would already be proactive and looking at that possibility and that's where I'm curious as to whether or not you guys have heard anything and I wonder how long that transition would take. It would seem to me that if there wasn't a lot of pre-planning uh, involved that um, there would be some hiccups um, switching from SourceForge to a different server. Uh, so let me show you some of the information that I came across. Now this is the website. This is pretty, uh, you know, this just a lot of information on SourceForge. Uh, this is their website, so let's take a look at some of the other information. Ars Technica. Evidently, SourceForge was bundling adware within GIMP for Windows. And somebody um, did some analysis and found that they were adding um, their own adware I assume to generate some revenue but they were adding adware to the GIMP uh, file that Windows users were downloading and evidently they were they didn't have permission to do that uh, they said they were just giving it some revenue enhancing love but um, again I'm sure that the Windows users who were downloading that file were not aware of the adware uh, being installed on their system and so I guess that's the whole crux of the issue is uh, it's being done without the end users knowledge uh, the next article I came across is uh, SourceForge commits reputational suicide at InfoWorld and you can go and read all I'm not going to read through all these articles but Basically, again, they've been. It says SourceForge has been caught red-handed abusing the reputations of open-source projects. Not a good thing. So, uh, and I can go on and on. Uh, what happened to SourceForge? There's evidently, evidently, there's a, a VLC has some issues, and this is going back to 2010. How to Geek is basically saying don't download anything from SourceForge if you can help it. Um, 
SourceForge is one of the bad download websites according to HowToGeek. So evidently there's a lot of concern about malware, spyware, adware. And finally Tech Republic says it's time to go away SourceForge that once king of app hosting SourceForge has lost its crown and its way. Uh, Jack Wallen discusses why SourceForge is now Scourge Forge. So I guess uh, I'm putting this out there for information for you guys just so you're knowledgeable about when you download from SourceForge you understand the implications and and also uh, what are your comments? What do you think that the open source community will do um, in order to resolve this issue? And I assume they either need to clean up the SourceForge uh, problems or find some other uh, app hosting uh, company. In either case, it could cause a problem for the Linux community, I assume. And I'm sure it's not an easy transition uh, because there, there are a lot of files involved. I mean, uh, like I say, when I'm downloading uh, packages, I see uh, SourceForge coming up in my terminal window as the location of the file. And so who knows, I mean, we need to be able to trust that these files are being distributed by a reputable host. So I'd be very interested to hear your comments. Um, I'm just providing information to you uh, and you can do your own research on this topic. Uh, Guys, I appreciate your uh, taking a look at the website. Uh, I would appreciate you subscribing and rating and commenting uh, if, you, if you have the time. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Linux Noob 13. Uh, Jeff has been kind enough to mention my new YouTube channel on his channel which is much more well established than mine uh, I have learned a lot from Jeff by watching his videos and uh, uh, if you haven't visited his uh, YouTube page you'd be uh, well advised to do that and I will put a link to his YouTube page on uh, on my in my show notes and let me see if I can pull up and there's my friend Jeff so uh, yeah uh, take a look at Jeff's site he's got a lot of interesting information uh, he's been at it for a while and uh, does a great job so, uh, guys, thanks for stopping by, and uh, uh, I will see you next time. Take care.